<clears throat> this is Burning Miles. I appreciate you for coming through. We're going to uh, give this a look. Very, very, very sensitive subject, but this guy really explains it well. So let's let's get right into it. Let's get right into it. I'm going to try my best to articulate this video as thoroughly, as plainly, as eloquently as possible. I don't want there to be any lost context. I don't want to just look like I'm coming out of nowhere, having a temper tantrum because these things are happening. The allegations I am levying towards YouTube are extremely serious, and I'm taking this video extremely seriously. YouTube, you guys either play favorites, you are racist, or it's a mix of the two. These are the three options, YouTube. Which one is it? Here's my proof. I've been doing YouTube a long time, okay? I never want to be that guy, oh, it's because I'm black. Oh, these issues are happening because I'm black. That Listen, it is, it is, it is so hard to be that guy. It is so hard to be that guy. But some stuff you see and you just, you just can't say anything because they'll just throw you into this category. Oh, you're complaining. Oh, you're, you're pulling the race card. So it is hard to be that guy. So I, I, I definitely, definitely feel what he's saying at that part. There have been certain situations that I looked at kind of funny. I said, hmm, it could be because of that, but nah, I ain't gonna, I don't, I'm not trying to press that. I don't want to build that narrative around my, my YouTube Facts. channel. Facts. This time, I can no longer let it slide. This is the situation. August 18th, I uploaded The Mortuary Assistant. A lot of you would know it got age restricted because the following video I did, I let you guys know it got age restricted. YouTube didn't tell me why. I saw that all these other YouTubers were playing the mortuary assistant and only my video seemed to be age restricted. And I looked for like an hour, two hours. I was scrolling all different types of people's video. No one else's was age restricted. So I appealed the restriction. Um, Hey guys, I... I'm not sure why mine got age restricted. Could you look into this? Appeal rejected. Mm. They doubled down. The policy team said, no, Corey, your video is restricted for good reason. We're not going to tell you why, but it's restricted. That's our final decision. I said, hmm, okay. I get with my YouTube rep. I sent him an email. Hey, could you look at this? This is some weird stuff going on. Only my video got age restricted. My YouTube rep, who isn't on the policy team, he looked at my video and he said, Hey, it could possibly be this part at the end where the woman was battling some depression. And I'm just going to leave it there, lest this video also be mm. age restricted just because I'm talking about it. So I looked at that part. The first thing I did was try to find other YouTubers who had that part or at least a part similar. Now, Markiplier, I don't know if you'll ever see this, but I just want you to know I have a lot of respect for you. And I didn't mean to drag you into the middle of this. Your channel just has happens to be a great reference point because A, you're a really big YouTuber and B, you're not black. So I can look at your channel and then I can look at my channel or look at anyone else's channel and make sure that the things and the games that you play all that they're enforcing the rules equally they're to not. everybody. So I go to Markiplier's Mortuary Assistant part three. And he had the same situation going on and his video wasn't age restricted. So I And see, see, and that's the stuff I be talking about. That's the stuff I be talking about. Now, I don't really speak on this a lot on my main channel because it doesn't matter. No one cares. But it's there. It's freaking there. And whether it's racism or not, when we get further into the video, you're going to see that sometimes... You know, it may not be overt racism. It's money, man. It's 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 somehow they're tied up into money with that person. And that's why the favoritism starts to come in. I send the video to my YouTube rep. I say, hey, um, Markiplier has this situation in his video, but his isn't age restricted. Could you send that to the policy team and see what they say about that? He said, wow, Corey, uh, that's some astute detective work. Let me uh, send this to them and see what they say. What do you think happened after that? I'll give you a second. They came back and they removed my age restriction. Mm -hmm. They took it off. After they already rejected my appeal, I sent them the clip of Markiplier's video that has the same thing and they removed it. 
Now, my YouTube rep, he was excited. See, and that's important because a lot of people think, oh, well, it's an automated system. Maybe for the people that are smaller and it's not really a big deal, but when you get up in the ranks, it's it's people, man. It's people with their own bias, with their own understanding of who's protected and who's not protected, with their own understanding of we're in bed with this person, so don't touch them. It's people making these decisions. Just like me and you, who got some type of a remote job that sits somewhere and, and they have their own beliefs and political views and all that type of stuff. So it it it, it is subject to human interpretation. So it, this he's blowing it wide open. It, he was, oh, great. This is awesome. Look, Corey, they took the age restriction off. I said, why? I expected them to triple down and give Markiplier an age restriction, too. But they looked at Mark's video and they used that to verify my innocence. Mm. So I send my YouTube rep a lengthy email detailing my feelings about the, the entire situation, feeling like there was some favoritism at play. There was either that or some racism at play and that I would like to sit down with the policy team and figure out why my video was flagged in the first place. Actually, number one. Was it automated or was it a human that mm. age restricted in in the first place? Didn't I tell you? That's the thing. Because most people are under the assumption it's a computer doing it. That's the most people are under the assumption is that when it, it, it may be some of that, but 100% of it is some of the stuff they choose. It's not a computer. Some of the stuff they definitely choose. Number two. Who was the human reviewer? Because it's a human reviewer once you send submit an appeal. Who was the human reviewer that doubled down and rejected my appeal? Number three, why did it take Markiplier's clip in order for them to reverse the decision? My YouTube rep gets back with me. He wants to hop on a call. We get on the phone um, for about 10, 15 minutes and I tell him, I've been feeling like this for a long time. I've been feeling like Every single time that I come back to YouTube, I'm number one trending for a few days and then they find some arbitrary issue. They nitpick and they try and find something that they can incriminate me for and try to push me down. You don't. And the reason why is because you ain't signed the deal. You, you, you didn't. It, it, it's usually it's something to do with money, bro. You can't be getting up there on your own, man. You can't get up there on your own. And I would be interested to see, has this guy signed a deal? And the other guy, Markiplier, has not has signed the deal. Has this guy not signed the deal and the other guy has signed the deal? That would be the, the, the biggest distinction between. And, and, and if he has, how is this creator right here? This guy has $14 million. Why hasn't he been offered a deal yet? Or has he been offered a deal? That's what I would like to know. Don't believe me? What happened the last time I came back and I was number one trending for like a week? They copyright struck me for a video that was in 2019 or something like that. Why don't these issues ever crop up when I'm not uploading? I mean, I'm not on YouTube like nine months out of the year. Nothing ever happens until I come back and I start uploading again and I'm getting my numbers, they're climbing, they're exploding, I'm number one trending, and then they're like, hey, we need to stop him. We need to, hey, this black man, he's getting too many views. He's, he's getting too much exposure, too much activity. Hold that thought. Let's get back to the current situation. So my I, I, I feel this video so hard, bro. Because you feel this way. Whether it's true if we feel this way or not, but that's how it feels. It feels like the microscope over us is a little bit bigger than it is over them. And I'm telling you, if you just think, oh, it's racism, that's small thinking. I think it's money. They got deals with these people. That's how I really feel, man. I don't know. I could be wrong. Let's listen. My YouTube rep assures me he's going to continue this dialogue with the policy team and try to get some answers to those three questions that I had. So another day, another two days go by. And what do you know? They re-age restricted the video. Jeez. They re-age restricted the video. I say, no way did they do that. I go to Markiplier's video now, and now his video is age-restricted. Mm. They got caught with their pants down. They got called out, and then they had to go back and say, oh, whoa, 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 okay, 
we see the narrative that he's kind of pushing here. We need to take some steps back. We need to just age restrict them both and be done with it. You thought that I wasn't going to like talk about this, make a video about it. You realize how bad this looks for you, YouTube. Mm. You realize how <clears throat> unfair this comes across. I, in all my years, have never seen a video get age restricted, de-age restricted, and then age restricted again. Have, have any of you ever seen that happen before? Never. They saw that I saw that there was some unfair stuff going on. So then they tried to appease me by de-age restricting the video. I say, wait, why are you doing that? Because I sent Markiplier's clip. And then they say, oh, okay, well, let's just age restrict them both. Why is my channel so much more heavily scrutinized than my peers? And that's the question. That is like there's an extra microscope over it. Why? And this particular um, creator is like freaking super clean. He is super clean. He does not. He 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 tries not to cuss. He bleeps certain things out. He is super clean. It should be no reason why there's a microscope over his stuff. And some of the people he's talking about aren't clean, but they still have to refer to them to say you're okay. That it, now that you can say, oh, that's racism, or that's the business model. They ha they have some type of deal with this person. They have a deal with this person. I'm telling you, it, it's a deal. Now, there still can be some racism in there too, but it's it's gonna it's a deal. My peers, and when I say peers, I mean people around my level, around my view count. Just to keep it simple, why is my channel so much more thoroughly scrutinized, especially so when I've been number one trending multiple days in a row, which I've done multiple times, and every single time I start to get an uptick. And traction and uptick in activity. You here comes YouTube coming through. Hey, uh, 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 let's get him for that video from 2019. Yeah, you, you see this, Corey? No, this is bad. It wasn't bad the nine months that I was off the platform. It was only bad when I got back and I was number one trending. This situation was only bad because I've been number one trending since I got back. Man, Every problem. other YouTuber has uploaded the Mortuary Assistant. And now they're about to start putting in some aid restrictions because I called them out on some unfair behavior. Now I realize that when you call someone a racist, that's a very, very serious accusation. True. And for that matter, how do you expressly prove that someone is a racist? I mean, unless they're spamming the N-word in the chat. How, how do you really know? And admittedly, I cannot 100% prove that race had everything to do with this. Never will you be able to. But I can tell you the people on that policy team, those shadow people that are anonymous and get to enact their will however they see fit. How can we be sure that they take a black person's video and a white person's video and it can be the same exact video and they restrict the black person's video, but not the white person's video. Thanks. I feel I've been mistreated for a long time. I mean, even when we hit 10 million subscribers and I was supposed to get my diamond play button and no one, there was no correspondence. These Jeez. situations always coincide with an uptick of growth. And it always just comes off like, we can't let this black guy get too high up. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, if I'm wrong, I'm wrong. Keep saying it. I'm telling you, that's how it comes off. I don't see any other YouTube. Dude, that's how it, that's how it feels, man. Even in my sector on my other channel, it, it's like, come on, dog. Come on. Some of this stuff is ultra corny. And you know it don't got the, the hit that mine has. You're, you're shadow banding me. And it does that every time. I have a video that keeps going re-viral on my other channel. And every time it does, I get two or three copyright claims on videos that are like five, six years old. It happens all the time. But who can you complain to? I'm so happy someone this size is saying something. Because when you talk, people just say, oh, you're hating on the person who's doing well. When you not run stand, there's a lot of shady crap going on in the background there's a 
here's something that I, I tell my old lady all the time. Talent really has nothing to do with it. People are chosen. They're chosen, bro, that match what the advertisers want. That's just a figgity fact. They're chosen. When the advertiser gives them an outline of what they want, those are the people that they push. So it, it's just, it's, it, I, I agree with this completely, bro. I, I, I agree with what he's saying completely. I believe what he's saying completely. I really do. That gets number one trending many times. And then all of a sudden they're getting age restricted and they're getting copyright strikes and all of that. If I'm wrong, I'm wrong. Point them out. I want to see them. I'll retract this entire video. I'll make a public apology to YouTube. I have no problem. My dad taught me if you make a mistake, be a man and address it and apologize. I will do that. No problem. But to me, you know what it comes off? It comes off whenever Corey Kenshin starts doing some crazy numbers or, or getting on trending too much. We got to find something. We got to get him for something. It's got to, he's got to have done something. I mean, I bleep out cuss words in video games. Like, I, I literally, this is the, this is the YouTuber that you want to have smoke with and have problems with. I believe there is some racism involved within the policy team and YouTube in general really doesn't care about black people like that. Um, they got their favorite creators, you know, Same. log out of YouTube. Log out and go to YouTube. You'll see the people on the front page every single day. You'll oh see God. the favorites. Count he is speaking. He is speaking the truth. Man, he is speaking the truth. I don't want to make this video too long, but your what you thought and your assumptions are real, bro. They're real. And I want to give this guy... His roses for being big and speaking on it, because most guys get up there, they won't speak on it. That's the truth, man. That's the truth. So, I mean, I don't know this guy. He he's a he he's brave. He's brave because YouTube can destroy his whole situation. And um, he's brave, man. And we definitely should give him all of our support. I like how he didn't come off and be too aggressive with it. He wanted to break it down to it digestible so you understand it. And I'm telling you, it's probably you're speaking to someone who's chosen. And these people that are chosen do more debauchery than anybody does. Anybody does, man. So this is this is this was a this was a very, very, very good video. Appreciate you for watching.